everybody and welcome back. A slightly different video today. I'm going to share with you my craft room. Um, I just thought while I was recording this bit you might want to see something on the desk other than my hands. Um, I don't know about you but I love being nosy and having a look around people's craft spaces and seeing how they organise different things. Um, and I especially like looking at small craft rooms because the room that I'm currently in is very small. Um, in England we have... Um, three bedroom houses and the third bedroom is always a teeny little square box room um some of them i don't even know why they call them a bedroom because you can barely get a single bed in here you certainly couldn't get much more in here um so it's not really a bedroom as such uh, but that's the little space that i'm in um i have meant to have done this video a long long time ago when i moved in last year however um i have reconfigured the furniture that I do have um, a few times to try and make it work and I now feel that um, I am happy with my craft room everything's within reach um, and I've got better access to all of my things now before I show you around I do just want to kind of make a little disclaimer that what you see in my craft room is certainly not everything I've got a bookshelf outside my craft room door I've got various cupboards around the house that are full with fabrics and other crafty items um, so that's another reason why actually we're looking to move because yeah I need some more space so without further ado let me take you on a little tour okay so I'm going to do my best not to make you extremely dizzy and I'll start with the door so as you come in and close the door in my craft room I have this hanging rack on the back of my door and this is just where I put odd bits of paper so I've got some textured paper at the top wrapping paper um, any tissue papers doilies any dyed papers envelopes uh, any strong paper that I have so things like Tyvek uh, I've got some paper bags and then just some miscellaneous stuff down at the bottom but I just find that that's such a useful storage for just bits and pieces like that then as we start to pan round I've got some shelves as you come in so right at the top we've got the explosion box on the left hand side which is what I made for my first line dot arrow uh, design team project I've still kept that because I'm really pleased with that one um, and as you can see it's absolutely huge that was my 8x8 explosion box then on the next shelf down I've got all of my wax melt stuff so I've got a basket that just has all of my different waxes in um, and the different plates and things and then this wooden box that it was sitting on just has all of my handles and wax seals uh, next to that I just have a pot of different pens and a little plaque my sellotape uh, down onto the next shelf I then have my different cameras and printers so um, I've got different label makers in there plus my um, photo printer as well I've got my little boxes which I showed in a previous video that just has all of my different um, stickers in so some of them are clear stickers some of them are washi stickers uh, and I've labeled them by category so they're easy to find uh, this I kind of call my scrapbooking collaging basket so it just has lots of smaller scrappy bits of paper um, some of the larger stickers and things at the back as well uh, but lots of sort of textured papers but just sort of smaller bits that can be used um, for collaging and scrapbooking then as we come down uh, I've got my craft trolley there it is so I've got all sorts of different things so on the top I've got some different pencils I've got my brushes my cropper doll um, I've got different scissors my um, glue tape gun uh, some other different tools so I've got my rotary cutter um, and some different jewelry making tools in there uh, this is my ink cleaner so I've got a um, cloth that I use for cleaning my stamps and there's also a solution in there as well then on the next shelf down is all of my kind of stamping platforms and stamping blocks that I use uh, when I'm doing stamping the next one down is just full of all sorts of bits and bobs as you can see but it's mostly um, like my brads, my setters, um, all of my different eyelets, that kind of a thing. Uh, that's the sponge that I use to get my little die cut pieces out. Um, but yeah, just all like my setters and things like that. 
And then down at the bottom are my various sort of punch boards. So that's my explosion box one that you've seen. I've got an envelope punch board um, and other bits down there. Then next to that, in the corner of my room, I've got these shelves. So up the top, I've got my uh, Cricut heat press. Um, it's up the top because it's not used too much. I've got a box of wax from when I do um, wax melting on paper to kind of give it that lovely transparent um, look. And then I've got a small little travel iron that was super cheap that I use for that because obviously I don't want to ruin my actual iron. On the next shelf down, I've got a variety of different papers. So uh, this box here is all kind of paper bags and packaging style paper. In the middle, I've got different file folders um, and that kind of thing. And then this one, this is all my genuine vintage ephemera. So I've got music sheets in there, um, old vintage photos and albums and all sorts of things in there, which I use in my projects. On the next shelf down, I've got just different bits I use for decorating. So I've got some buttons. I've got a jar at the back that just has like little cut off pieces of either lace or ribbons and things like that. I've got a little box that has all of my elastics and my zips in. Then I've got a clear box on the top that just has all of kind of my strings and twines and things in. And then this box is full of my ribbons. Uh, this box, uh, this drawer here is just a kind of drunk drawer. It just kind of has miscellaneous stuff that just doesn't really belong anywhere else. So it's, I've just got a pencil case of different Sharpie pens. Um, I've got some different key rings in a box down there. Um, some sticky notes, some hole reinforcers, some uh, more fountain pens. Then in the cupboard, um, I have all of my kind of metal embellishments. So each of these have different things in them. So I've got uh, different corner bits, different latches. Um, they're also in different colours. So I've got different charms. So some of them are more colourful. Uh, some of them are just kind of brass coloured. And then I've got some key ring bits down at the bottom. Uh, let's open the other cupboard again. And then this side is kind of my beads and jewellery making bit. So I've got all different beads and jewellery wire in those drawers and those tubs there. Um, I've got this beautiful cover that I'm still waiting to use. That was gifted to me uh, in some Happy Mail. And then I've just got some odds and sods in here. So different projects that I've worked on or some bits that is a project to yet become something. So that's inside that cupboard. Sitting in front of that, I have my large A3 trimmer and then I've got these sets of drawers, which um, actually was a baby changing station. Um, it did have a kind of rim along the top that I took off uh, where you would obviously change the baby. And then these drawers um, I just redecorated. So I've used some vinyl so that they are looking a little bit more sort of vintage. In the top drawer, this is full of all of my inks and things. So I've got lots of dabbers. Um, I've got some ink pots at the back, some gloves, which I never use. I always end up with inky fingers. One of those blowy tools that I think I've used once. Um, I've got these kind of smaller uh, style ink pots. They were what I kind of started with when I first started uh, crafting and stamping. Um, and then I've kind of got my embossing inks that you use for when you're using heating embossing. Um, I've got some white ink pads. I've got some of this embellishment mousse. And then the final row are my inks that um, I probably use most often. So I've got Distress inks here. I haven't got very many. Four. I've got four colours of that. These are my Distress oxides. Again, not a great deal of variety. And at the back, if we kind of crouch down... I've got my kind of VersaFine ink out the back because that's really good for sort of fine details. So that's my inky drawer. The next one is super messy. This is my kind of mixed media drawer. So it's full of um, paints. I've got my uh, gel plate in here. I've got just random bits of card. I've got paint brushes, palettes, um, sponges, all things to kind of create different textures. I've got old packaging in here. Um, so yeah, that's just a bit of a mess and kind of just stays closed like that. In the bottom drawer, 
I have just different rolls of, um, well, this is my uh, backing sheet that I use when I'm taking photos uh, for things like Instagram, but I've got rolls of wallpaper and all sorts in here as well, ready to use for different projects. So that's that drawer. I'm gonna try and come up. Just got my bin in the corner. Uh, on the wall, I've got some different art pieces. Um, those that are in the black frames are artwork that my sister has done for me. Um, all of the other pictures that you see are done by Michelle at the Creative Cove. I actually won one of her giveaways um, and she just sent me a huge great big bag of all different bits and pieces that she had created. Um, she is an amazing artist um, and some of the pieces were just so beautiful as you can see so I thought well they just deserve to be in a frame so I framed them and I put them on my wall. So thank you very much Michelle. Then coming down, I'll try not to blind you with the window. I've then got my little sewing station. Uh, so I've got my sewing machine up at the top. Uh, on the shelf underneath the kind of where I kind of store projects that I'm kind of working on. So in that white tray there um, are different bits that I'm working on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, we're out of focus for a second. Uh, underneath my sewing desk, I've just got a box. These are all my uh, file folders and 12 by 12 papers. So I've got a whole box that I need to kind of start going through. Then as we come up and start panning round, we get to my crafting desk. So I've got drawers underneath that are absolutely full of different things. I've got my typewriter tucked under there as well. Uh, in this top drawer, I've got all of my sort of smaller different punch sets. Then in the next one down are kind of my larger ones. Uh, the next drawer down are all of my kind of adhesive tapes. So I've got some patterned ones, double-sided tape, masking tapes, that kind of thing. And then the bottom drawer are my kind of like wet glues uh, and things like that. Kind of hidden around the back here. Um, I've got a badge maker hiding at the back there. Uh, this is the punch that I use for my index cards when I'm doing the challenges. Um, these are my binding machines and obviously just a glue because it didn't fit in the drawer. It's quite tall. Um, and then just some empty jars and things over there. Uh, this is my little scrap box. So this is an, an old vintage um, letter rack, but I just put my different scraps in there. Um, and then this is my mini journal that I use for when I'm doing the challenges. Coming back round then, up on top of the other one, I've got some baby wipes handy. And then this has all of my kind of embossing stuff in here. So I've got some modelling pastes, all my different embossing powders. Um, I've also got uh, the pearl effects in here as well. So anything that's kind of used to embellish my crafts. Next drawer down is full of whoa, cheesecloth spurting out, but also lots of different laces and materials and things that I can kind of grab to decorate. Then we have a drawer just full of envelopes. So some of them are new envelopes, but I've also got some used ones as well. And next we have a drawer of basically just random ephemera. So I've got guest checks. I've got, again, some bits that have been sort of tea dyed already, um, but things that I can kind of use in journals to kind of tuck into pockets. And the final one, um, are kind of my themed items. So I've got lots of sort of sewing bits in here. I've got some diary bits in here. I've got lots of travels. So I've got postcards. I've got maps at the back. Um, so these are more kind of themed things that I will pull out when I'm um, working on a particular journal. Then coming over to the side, the shelves on the side, this bottom one has my inks in for my printer and my other label maker. Um, I've then got a shelf where I've got my laminators. So I've got an A3 and an A4 size. Uh, this box has all of my different blades in for my rotary trimmer, which is on the next shelf. So I've got three different trimmers. I've got a larger one that is a proper guillotine. This is the trimmer where the blades can change and I can have different effects. And then I've got my little mini Tim Holtz one on the top there. Then as we come up, 
you can see my desk. So I have my printer in the corner with all of my altered index cards on top. Um, you can see where I do all of my recording. This is what I have above me. So all of my different tools that I grab for quite a lot. I've got my glues down there as well. All of my rulers. Then I've got some pictures to the side that my daughter has made. So I've got a nice happy sunshiny flower because apparently we all need flowers in our rooms. And then as we kind of spin round, I've got some more sort of shelving along here. So these drawers are all filled with different smaller items. So I've got some uh, genuine stamps in there. I've got some little wooden pieces in there. These are all just filled with the kind of smaller embellishments that I put um, when I'm mostly when I'm decorating cards, not really, really for journals. Um, I've then got my Sizzix Big Shot, um, which I don't use quite as often anymore because I have now the Sizzix Switch, um, which is so much better for me rather than trying to crank the handle. Um, so I don't use it too much, but sometimes it is just easier. Uh, to grab it if I'm just doing one or two things. I've got a little box here. I have completely gone through my stash and windled it down, but I've got a box of different napkins there. On the next shelf down, I've got my uh, Cricut machine and this I've kind of used as my storage. So this stores my plates for my Big Shot. Um, and then I've got my foiling machine here as well with some foils uh, also, which I use in my Big Shot. Um, underneath my Big Shot machine, I've got my different mats for my Cricut. Um, I've also got my messy mat that I use and I've got two different size scoreboards. Underneath there, um, these are not Calyx shelves, these are actually a cheap version from my local B&M. Um, but they are filled basically with different papers. So these are my 8x8 and 6x6 paper pads. These boxes just have some different fussy cut bits in them. I then have all of my paper and card along here. Um, some of these are the kits that I'm currently using and working on. Uh, this is just a range of all different types of papers. Um, we then start going into sticker paper and laminating pouches. And then this part are again just bits that I use in my journal. So it's old bits of packaging, lots of plastics um, and just things that I can use for storage as well. So I've got some extra um, dividers and file folders and things in there. Coming down to the bottom shelf, uh, this box is full with all of my different embossing folders. So that's stored in there. In the next one, I have my wooden stamps and I've got a few, not many, I've got a few of the stamping up stamps. Uh, so they're all stored in there. And then across the next two shelves at the bottom, um, I do not, because it's very bulky, keep any of my stamps and dies in their original packaging. What I've decided to do instead is to take everything out and then I've labelled them according to different categories. So I've got homes and scenery, hobbies, um, and then I lay them out in here. So for example, hobbies, I've got uh, this pack here, which is all hobbies. So there'll be things about taking photos, doing puzzles, some sewing. So all of my stamps are in here. If they have a matching die, then I have a little bit of a magnetic sheet that I stick uh, with the stamps so that they are together. Uh, but I keep all of those like that. And I will have a folder that's just for stamps and a folder that's for dies in the same category. Um, and I've done that for all of them. So that's what all of those are. Um, and then I've got a few of these larger ones as well. These are the thicker, I think it's Big Z's, is that what they're called? Um, and they're all sitting on a kind of step. So I live in a, a three bedroom house and the third bedroom is always a box room and it always has this huge step because the stairs kind of run under this section here, uh, which is very annoying because it takes up a lot of space. Um, also in front of these shelves I have this lovely little box here which is full of my different washi tapes. I'll just bring it over so you can have a little look. So these have all of my washi tapes in. Again I have massively gone through and tried to reduce uh, the washi tapes that I have because I've had absolutely tons and tons of them. 
um, and then I've got that huge huge roll of masking tape um, and then lastly we've kind of got this tool shelf running up behind my door um, so this is just where I keep my pens so I've got my alcohol markers I've got some pro markers I've got some brush pens um, I've got some different uh, journals that I have um, I've recently just purchased these acrylic paint pens and then these boxes um, I decorated with a wallpaper that I have and they basically have all of my sewing stuff in um, I still have to label them but they have things like embroidery floss in uh, my bobbins my needles and etc etc but they've got all of those bits in there all running down at the bottom it's just miscellaneous stuff so I think I've got a little bit of velcro down there and a little vintage sort of sewing box that has some vintage buttons and things in and then a little basket tucked behind that just has my plugs in for all of my different things and my heat gun but that is basically my room so we're back to the beginning well that was my craft room thank you very much for having a little look round and being here with me if there is anything that you feel that I kind of skated over very quickly and you wanted to have a better look, whether it's in my horrendous mixed media drawer or having a closer look at how I organise my stamps and dies because I did kind of brush over that quite quickly. Um, but I know that's an interest to a lot of people, how um, crafters store their stamps and dies. Uh, but yeah, if there's anything that you would like to see in more detail, just let me know down in the comments and I can always create a more in-depth video on that particular thing um, if that's what you would like to see. So thank you very much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed the little tour and I will see you all in the next crafty video. Bye for now.